Hi, Mr. Corsi here. Here we've got an equation and we're told it has two real and distinct roots and we have to determine the range of values for m. So let's have a wee look at some of the ideas behind solving this question. If I have a quadratic expression and we ask what are the values of this, then we have a quadratic graph, a parabola, that shows us the values that this expression can take. Now, if we ask when is it equal to zero, in this case, if this was the graph, we'd have no solutions. And in this case, we'd have one. In this case, we'd have two distinct solutions. That's the case there talking about here, two real and distinct roots. The roots are where this graph crosses the x-axis when this quadratic expression has a value of zero. And we know to solve quadratic equations like this, there's a quadratic formula, minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And it's this plus or minus the square root, it's this number that appears under the square root sign that uh, distinguishes, discriminates between each of these situations. So if the number under the square root sign is negative, if b squared minus 4ac is negative, then you don't have a real value for the square root, and therefore there's no real values for x. There are no solutions, no roots, no real roots. If the number under the square root sign there is just a zero, adding or subtracting zero, you just get one value. Uh, so if the number under the square root sign, the discriminant as it's called, is zero, you'll get one solution. The one we're after is where you do have something positive, a positive number under that square root sign, so you'll get plus the square root of that and minus the square root of that, and you'll get two different answers. So in this case, the one we're after, b squared minus 4ac, the discriminant, would be greater than zero. So that's the theory behind what we're going to do. In this equation, we're going to have to try and find out what the values of a, b, and c are, work out the discriminant, and then set the discriminant greater than zero and see where that takes us. So our first step would be to compare x squared plus m minus 3x plus m with the normal form of the, or the general form of the quadratic, ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. So what can we say? Well, this means a must be 1. We've got 1x squared. b must be the same as b minus 3. Sorry, m minus 3. b must be the same as m minus 3. And c must be equal to m. So what can we say about the discriminant? Well, the discriminant, we know, the general case ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to b squared minus 4ac. That's the number that appears under the square root sign in the quadratic formula when we try to solve this equation. So b squared minus 4ac in this case is m minus 3 squared minus 4 times 1 times m. Now we can multiply out m minus 3 times m minus 3. First outsides, insides, last. We'll get m squared minus 6m plus 9. And this last term is a minus 4m. So we get m squared minus 6m minus 4m is minus 10m plus 9. And in the case that we are after for two real and distinct roots. That's the, the case where the graph of this uh, quadratic is crossing the x-axis at two places. For two real and distinct roots, we have to have the case where we actually do have a positive number under the square root sign. So we have to have b squared minus 4ac greater 
than zero. Positive discriminant. So in this case, we have to have m squared minus 10m plus 9 greater than 0. So that's what this question boils down to. How do we solve m squared minus 10m plus 9 is greater than 0? Well, let's forget everything that's gone before and just look at this expression m squared minus 10m plus 9. And think about the values of this. If we were to graph them, this would now be an m-axis, and draw a picture showing us the values of m squared minus 10m plus 9. In other words, the graph y equals m squared minus 10m plus 9. What would that look like? Well, it would look like a, a parabola. Where would it cross this m-axis? We would have to set this equal to 0 to see where it crossed the m-axis. So let's do that. Does this factorise? Well, yes, it does. 9 and 1. And to get negative 10m, it would be minus 9m minus 1m. And negative 9 times negative 1 does give us positive 9. So this times this being 0, m would be 9 or m would be 1. So we know the values of m squared minus 10m plus 9 are 0 when m is 1 or m is 9. And we know that we're expecting a, a quadratic graph, a parabola. So the values of this quadratic expression will look something like this. And we're concerned about when are the values of m squared minus 10m plus 9 greater than 0. In other words, where is this graph above the m axis and therefore we get a positive value for m squared minus 10m plus 9 and that'll occur for values of m here but not including 1 and here not including 9 these are the parts of the graph that are above the m axis so for any value of m less than 1 or greater than 9 the values of m squared minus 10m plus 9 will be positive. So m is less than 1 or m is greater than 9. That's the range of values of m which make the discriminant, which is this, greater than 0. And hence this equation will therefore have two real and distinct roots. So that's Mr. Corsi signing out and thanks for watching this video.